Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and today's topic within the Advanced BIM Analysis Series is going to be focusing on BIM reporting. So I will present to you the Power BI dashboard fully integrated in the Bexel viewer. Uh, these unique KPI dashboards are directly generated uh, from the Bexel manager containing uh, information that is visually and graphically connected and interactive. All of these presented dashboard templates for D estimation, model explorer, clash detection, earned value, and resource earned value analysis are available for free to use within the Backsell Manager Power BI publisher. Now, anytime you can adjust the predefined templates to fit best to your project needs. Also, you can test and explore all dashboards live within the Backsell Command Center on the Backsell Manager website. I will include that link uh, just below this video in the description. Before we start, I would like to invite you to free Backsell education, which started the first week of September uh, and is scheduled for the whole month. Uh, so each Tuesday at 2 p.m. Central European time. Uh, this four series uh, education is focused on advanced uh, backsell workflows in synergy with cloud-based solutions. Uh, the recordings of the first session are available uh, on the link in the description. Uh, and also uh, there you can uh, find the, uh, the event link uh, so you can watch it live, get notifications and get recordings of uh, previous sessions. Uh, so just make sure to save the date for each Tuesday uh, at 2 p.m. until the 27th of September. Okay, now let's start. Within the Manage tab, you will find Power BI with Backsell Viewer Publisher. By clicking on the button, different report types are listed. Model Explorer, Clash Detection, 5D Estimation, Earned Value, and Resource Earned Value. Besides the data layer, exported dashboards contain visualization, including color coding rules defined within the Backsell Manager. So once you generate a color schemes for a certain group of elements, you're able to then see the same ones within the Power BI dashboard. I will show you the publishing process on the Clash Detection dashboard. The process is more or less the same for the other reports. Within the Clash Detection module, we can see the list of Clash jobs and results. The same list will appear within the publisher. Okay, let's publish the Clash Detection report. Within the first window, you will need to fill the field with Bexel Viewer Model link, which you will get after publishing the model with the Viewer Publisher, available within the Bexel main menu. For the full process explained, please check out the previous video named Advanced BIM Analysis Cloud-Based Bexel Viewer. Okay, I will copy the link to the empty field here. Click Next and choose uh, do you want to export all of the selected Clash jobs or just the desired ones. I will export all of them and click Finish. After saving the Power BI desktop version, open it, load the project data by clicking on the Refresh button and if you want, adjust the dashboard to your needs. I will keep the same predefined settings and click on the Publish button to create an online dashboard and Clash Detection dashboard is published and opened in the browser. Here you can find general information about Clash Detection jobs. On the central place of the dashboard is the Bexel Viewer. On the left side there are general model breakdowns, a drop-down list of model categories, families, slider for Clash distance and so on. On the right side of the screen, you can see the exported Clash job list. If you want to check and filter information for one of them, select one job from the Clash list. Within the viewer, the selected job is automatically visualized with all filtered information. We can select each Clash result pair individually from the list by selecting an element within the viewer. In the bottom right corner, Clash jobs are distributed by the number of Clashes within the job. Also, you can filter clashes per categories or by building stories. Cool, right? Now, let's explore the 5D estimation dashboard. As I said in the beginning, the publishing process for all dashboards is the same, so I will not repeat it in this video. Here, I will stop for a moment to go quickly through some Bexel viewer options in case you missed that video. 
To load model sources, click on the back cell of your logo and choose load options. All options and features are either on the right mouse click or on the bottom ribbon, for example, sectioning or element selection and so on. Okay, let's go back to the 5D estimation dashboard. On the left side of the screen, you can find color scheme with listed CBS color coded breakdowns generated within the Bexel manager. By choosing one of the listed, the color scheme will automatically be applied to the Bexel viewer model. Now I can choose do I want to color model elements by model categories, master format or monthly progress for example. I can select a group of elements by clicking on the color scheme list and add elements to the selection. All reports within dashboards are instantly updated for total costs, material, labor, equipment and so on. Of course I can use interactive charts for quick selection and filtering also. Okay, next one, earned value analysis. Here you can measure the amount of work actually performed, check actual costs, the status date, cost and schedule variance, schedule and cost performance index for the whole project or selected period. Use graphics and charts to check earned value for the specific time period or for current element selection, track total and cumulative cost per month and automatically visualize executed elements all within one dashboard. On the Model Explorer dashboard, all general model information about the project is listed. Element number by work sets, buildings, total cost per classification items. You can apply multiple filters for model elements, check costs, quantities, and so much more. And for the end, I will go through the resource earned value analysis dashboard. Here we can see earned value for cost and qua uh, quantity by labor and equipment, check resource cost and schedule performance index, filtering for the desired time period by desired schedule, subcontractor or element selection. And that will be it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And once again, I would like to ask you to join the Bexel online education and learn all about this topic and other really interesting and useful Bexel workflows. So see you soon. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.